Well, hi John, hey Jaguars, welcome back. We are going to be reading chapter two of Weekends with Max and his dad. Now remember in chapter one we learned that Max is really into spies now, much more than football. And he is Agent Pepperoni, and his dad, he is assigned to be his helper spy, Agent Cheese. Chapter two. In the morning, Max put on his jacket with many pockets and his black spy hat and his dark spy glasses and an old necktie he had found in the basement of the house he lived in with Mom. Then he went out into the living room. Dad was sitting in the orange armchair, reading the sneaky book of spy skills. <clears throat> said Max. Excuse me, sir, said Dad. Have you seen my son? Short boy, curly hair, good looking, like his father. Max laughed and took off his glasses. Max, said Dad, it's you. You knew it was me, said Max. I kind of did, said Dad, but that's because I know you very well. Otherwise, I would not have recognized you. Spies need good disguises, said Max. Well, I guess I'll need a disguise then, said Dad. Any ideas? Max had a bag full of ideas. He had another pair of glasses and a stick-on mustache and a bandana. He even had a fake scar left over from his Halloween costume. He put them all on Dad and then led him to the bathroom mirror. This disguise is so good, even I don't know who I am, said Dad. That's okay, Max patted Dad's elbow. I will remind you. Thanks, pal. Dad smiled and his mustache fell off. You can't smile, Agent Cheese. You need to remain inconspicuous. Inconspicuous, eh? Dad was careful not to smile with his mouth, but his eyes smiled anyway. It means you need to sneak around unnoticed, which you can't do if your mustache is always flying off. Got it, said Dad. Oh, I almost forgot. This came while you were getting dressed. Dad handed Max an envelope addressed to Agent Pepperoni. The words Top Secret were printed across the back. Max opened the envelope and read the note inside. Your mission? Find coffee. Ace's coffee shop was just around the corner from Dad's new apartment. It had cushy red booths to sit in, and on the walls were advertisements for old-timey things like fountain pens and shaving equipment. A painted sign hung over the cash register. County's best bacon and pineapple pancakes. Let's sit at the counter, said Dad. Max climbed onto a red cushioned stool, and Dad sat beside him. I'm sorry, said a burly man in a white apron. These seats are saved for my friend Leo. He's bringing his son Max here today. Max pulled his hat down low on his forehead. We'll move when they get here, he said in a very deep voice. Deal, said the man, setting two menus on the counter. I'll be right back with some coffee. When the man turned around, Dad whispered to Max, That's Ace. Do you think we should have told him who we really are? Max shook his head. A spy never tells his secrets. Never, asked Dad. Never, said Max, except to a helper spy. But what if there are no helper spies around, asked Dad. He waits, even if it takes a whole week. That must be hard to do, said Dad. Sometimes, admitted Max. Max picked up a menu and spun around on his stool. He held the menu just high enough to peek over as he studied the people in the restaurant. There were tall people and short people and people tapping on phones and people reading books. There was a lady with lots of tiny braids and a man with no hair at all. Two men in the corner played chess and a woman in a booth did a crossword puzzle. She wore white nurse's shoes, like Mom did for work. Max noticed nothing suspicious, 
except that none of the people in the restaurant were eating pancakes. Puzzling, why wouldn't people order pancakes if they were the county's best? Ace set a cup of coffee on the counter for Dad. You look like a hot chocolate man to me, he said, sliding a mug in front of Max. So, gentlemen, what'll it be? Oh, the usual, said Dad. Max elbowed Dad. Oh, he's joking, said Max in his very deep voice. We have never been here before, and we will never be here again. Right, Dad held his mustache on and pretended to laugh at his joke. I will have the scrambled eggs with spinach and tomato. And I will have the county's best bacon and pineapple pancakes, said Max. A huge grin spread across Ace's face. Oh boy, said Dad. Ace reached under the counter and pulled out a bright red ukulele. He strummed. Everyone in the restaurant stopped what they were doing and looked right at Max. And then Ace began to sing. Pancakes, oh pancakes, oh pancakes divine. Better with bacon, much better with pineapple. Best in the county, best we can make them. Best with pineapple and bester with bacon. Everyone in the restaurant applauded and Dad's mustache fell off into his coffee. Max pulled his hat down even lower. This was no way to stay inconspicuous. But he had to admit, it was a great way to have breakfast. And that is the end of chapter two. So we'll see how their weekend goes in the next episode, which is chapter three.